Um, so we're moving on to more French music. This music's from the 19th century. It's by a woman named Louise Ferranc. Um, so as I described in my email today, and I've explained to the students um, in my arranging projects, I'm trying to discover music from underrepresented composers, people that just, for various reasons, haven't been really acknowledged throughout music history and aren't as popular, but still have really awesome music to listen to. So Louise Frank is another one of these lovely composers. Um, she was the only female uh, professor at the Paris Conservatory in the entire 19th century, and she was not paid equal to her colleagues because she was female. And so this piece that they're going to play a chunk from, or a chunk from movement is the proper term, um, that they're going to play uh, some is the piece that made her so popular that she finally marched into, I like to imagine, she marched into her boss's office and said, look how popular I am, I deserve equal pay, and finally she got equal pay because of this piece. So this piece is called Nonet Opus 38. Nonet meaning it was originally for nine different instruments, a mixture of winds and strings, it was for cello, bass, viola, violin, flute, oboe, hmm, clarinet, bassoon, and horn. There, nine. Um, so then what's interesting is the composer herself, Louise, she then took the, her own nonet and she arranged her own piece for a string quintet. For, so that was two violins, viola, cello, bass. So I was lucky enough to access for free online through the public domain um, her original handwritten scores, which is super cool. They were just scanned and available online. And I have both the non-net scores of the wind instruments and just the string quintet. So I was working from both of those. And um, this, I, I wanted this, this group to play it because, again, as I was saying, I, I've been trying to arrange things that meet the unique needs of our students here. This was a great opportunity to have some of our uh, seniors be solos. Um, in some of these moments. So we have soloists tonight, we're going to have Rocco on cello. Maya is not a senior, but she will play the bass solo. And Laura is going to play viola one. And then we got three violins. We've got Jake, Beth, and Kara who are going to play solos throughout the piece. Um, it starts in the and starts and ends in the key of C minor, which has three flats, which is kind of nasty, but they rose to the occasion and they got it. Um, and it's very sneaky pizzicatos in the beginning, so there's lots of character. This movement's called scherzo. Scherzo means playful and kind of jokingly, so um, it's definitely a lot of playful characters going on. The middle section is slower, and it switches to the key of C major. And the viola part that you're going to hear Laura play is the original viola part that Louise wrote. I'm sure you all know that I'm a viola player by now, so as soon as I heard this on the recording, I was like obsessed with it. Um, and it's really well written for the viola. It's like very doable and comfortable and really fun to play. So good job, Louise. Um, so viola, Laura's gonna play that original viola part, and the way you're gonna hear um, in the violins at that moment would have originally been for the winds. Rocco would have been a horn. He's not a horn, he's a cello. Um, so it's, it's really neat how these textures and the different solo parts overlap each other. Um, so please enjoy, again, music not often heard, uh, music of Louise Ferenc, fe featuring uh, some of our seniors on the solos. <laughs> 